Well, joining us now from the Protocol School of Texas is Diane Gotsman. It's been a while since we've seen you, so it's good to see you. Glad you're doing well. Thank and you. We're talking today about how to survive a new boss. Because I guess this can be maybe an intimidating situation, right? It's a little bit scary when a new boss comes in. We're uncertain of what's going to happen. How so things are going to change. We've will got I still have tips. a job, right? Okay, That's well, let's get right to it. Key number one, will I still uh, have a job? So <laughs> don't wait for the introduction. What do you think we should do? You know, often when the boss comes in, we're tentative and we're lagging behind. What we need to do is walk right up and say and introduce ourselves and say, my name is Diane Gotsman. Welcome. You know, mm -hmm. something that simple makes a good first impression. Okay. Uh, project a positive attitude. I mean, you would think that you should do this always. When you know, you have we a new might boss or not. be loyal to our other, our old boss. So you know, there are always camps that get a little bit negative. And you be positive and you be the the team leader and say, listen, guys, let's pull together and let's all help mm -hmm. this guy out or this woman out so right. we can all succeed. So maybe reach out in that way. Uh, request a meeting with your boss, and I guess that would go above and beyond an introduction. And it's not the first minute he gets there or she gets there, but you know, we want to meet and say, listen, you know, this is my position, and how do you see this position going, and what can I do to improve? Mm -hmm. So you want some face to face time sure. with your boss. But maybe you want to give him a little time <laughs> to get settled in. <laughs> Don't right? do it the first day, or maybe not even the first week. <laughs> All right, observe your new boss's business wardrobe. What do you mean by this? Take a good look at how he or she is dressing because. They are telling you by the way they dress what they expect from you. Okay. And That's maybe important. not just uh, the way they dress, but maybe overall in terms of attitude. Oh, right? you watch their demeanor. You know, you mm -hmm. we all need to be aware of what's going on in our in the business world and watch your boss and see what he or she values. Mm -hmm. And you want to try and mirror that same those same values. Okay. Realize that you are being observed. Oh, there's no doubt. Everyone you everyone's watching you, but your boss is coming in and looking to see where the dead weight is and who is yeah. the value, who are the assets, and who are the liabilities. Okay, also make your boss's job easy. What do you mean by this? Oh, well, volunteer. Go up and say, now, you know, I know you don't really, you're not familiar with the lay of the land here, and, you know, let me help you with this. And this is how we normally do it. Do you have some better ways? So, you know, make it easy for him or her so they, they get the lay of the land a little bit better with your help. To get adjusted. Okay, keep your skills current. This is always a good advice. When you can take some professional development training, Training, do it. Do it because it looks it's good for you and it looks good on your resume. Sure, it looks good to the new boss. Too. Sure. Whenever possible, speak to your boss face to face. I mean, it, isn't it getting tougher and tougher to do these days? Because people are stuck in their cubicles and they're sending their, you know, emails oh, or text yes. messages. And it's really important to still have that face to face. And technology is important. Emails are great, but as often as possible, you know, make contact with your boss and let him know or let her know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yes, and technology is great, but stay off your cell phone during the day. Right. Keep your personal life at home. Well, a lot of times it's important, I think, to see body language. That's, oh, body language <laughs> is everything. Yeah. You know, what we say is less important than what we do, how we act. Right, yeah. and how we're interacting with each other. That's Diane, right. Diane, it's really good to see you. Thank you so much. We Thank appreciate you. it. Some good advice for our viewers this morning, and we will be right back.